Good evening people, how are we? Wow, I have <laughs> the wolf. I could say hungry like the wolf. Some of you may remember that song. Duran Duran. Anyway, um, I don't have the, the, the um, glass for this. Appenzilia Weisenbeer. Yeah. <laughs> Appen, Appenzilia Weisenbeer. Anyway, this comes in at a healthy 5.2% ABV. It's not cheap, but you can find it. Ask JR, because he found that one and made me drink that one and then brought this one around because he felt guilty. So I have heard this before. And if my memory serves me far too well, you know that song? Oh, for goodness sake. What is he up to tonight? I wonder how No one's going to understand what you are on about. <laughs> I can sing if you like. No, I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> Don't say that upstairs. <laughs> oh, I do, trust me. You say, sing to me, sing to me. And I say, no, 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 I'm not doing it. Okay, so this is the bottle we've got. I'm going to try to disrupt him from singing. You don't want that. So there we go. I'll just sit here on this Yeah, mountain. no, that's, that's quite enough. Thank you. There we go. You're a fool, boy. I know. I can't afford someone else. And here we go. Oh, look, that's a lovely golden colour, good carbonation. It's a medium straw colour with a nice foamy head. Yeah, it is indeed. And it looks hungry like a wolf. And this, glass, loads of us have this glass, so it's really good using this one, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lovely glass, isn't it? Yeah, you get the you get the pack. I don't know if they're doing a deal now on Amazon, but we're all buying them, aren't we? Right, there you go. Now, I'm going to let you go first on the aroma. Wonderful, thank you. The sort of guy I am, don't thank me, there's no need. Oh yeah, crisp ripe apple. Some lovely malty smells there. That smells good. Mmm, yeah. It's, um, it's got everything. What it's meant to have is that champagne yeast. Yeah, but it smells more like apple than banana. I don't want to put it up your nose. <laughs> Hold on, I've got a five pound And I, I was going to say, I didn't make a mistake in fruit there. I'm actually smelling apple rather than banana. Yeah. I've got a note. Oh, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Jeez. Just a joke. <sighs> right. right. Yes, in a way, back to business. Yes, back to business. You look if, you can, if you can keep sensible for more than... You look radiant tonight. 20 seconds. I actually was smelling apple from this rather than banana, and I did expect a banana aroma. I'm not smelling apple. That's what I was smelling. Do you try and get things into my head? You do <laughs> that a lot. <laughs> I'm not, I'm just telling you. I heard you woke up with some bloke this morning, and he, and he, and he shouted abuse at you. Yeah. <laughs> that was quite true. Someone was having a nightmare or something. <laughs> oh. Jesus. Wow. Now that smells banana-y now. It's banana all the way through. I did want to say that, but I didn't want to upset you. No, I'm just that... to, I, I say things exactly as I smell and taste them. Oh, no. But yeah, now, now that you've taken a sip and I'm getting the proper aroma rather than fruit. Absolutely. Yeah, it's definitely banana. This is, this is special. It's so smooth. Yeah, wow. Yeah. That's no, great. I mean, Where'd you go on? Um, it's everything that you'd expect from a really, really good quality bison beer. It's got that lovely banana taste. I was expecting it to taste maybe a little bit citrusy or maybe even vinegary because I was smelling apple. Um, but that isn't. That's right banana all the way through. There's a creaminess, a smoothness that is very, very delicate on the tongue but yet so prominent. And then on the aftertaste that goes it's through balanced off it's dry at the end but not yes. too dry which is probably where the champagne yeast comes into it that it's meant to have maybe that's what i'm smelling that's where i'm picking up 
that kind of information. Well, I mean, it, it's, it's so like, I mean, you've got Hacker the Cracker. And this is. Yeah, you're right. So this is, close to this Hacker. Is very dry, but it is balanced off nicely with that lovely fruit flavour. It's absolute. Yeah, the aroma doesn't. What I was picking up at first doesn't go much with what I'm actually tasting from the glass. No, but they do that sometimes. Sometimes that's where it gets confusing. That's why when you say people say reviewing beers is easy, it's not because sometimes you think, oh, let's just get you read what something says on the back of the thing. Right? Well, I actually I try not to read anything. No, no, it says it on the back. So I just try to give it. I'm not all about other people's views because many, many other people are very wrong. But uh, they is, taste, is that not German on the back? Yeah, of course it is. So you can't read the back, well, there right? You go, then. <laughs> yeah, but many people. Would, read our reviews or something and say well they're wrong and then we'd say the same about them. Yes but it's subjective and it is. Because we all have a different palate whether it's, exactly. I mean that older beer no idea, I mean he's got no idea full stop, he admits it. You see? I but he's a great all, reviewer. I think it's all down to trying something, seeing exactly what you taste, feel, smell oh, yeah. about a particular drink. Um, the first kind of aroma I was picking up on this was something kind of apple -y, but it isn't. On the second, after you take the sip, and there was a little bit gone out of it, and I was picking Absolutely. up a little bit more aroma, that was definitely, definitely banana. Um, this is very dry on the palate. Yeah, absolutely lovely. It's, it's, it's how I, my preferred way of rising, barring the king, would be a dry one. That's why Hacker is probably my favourite, because of the dryness and the champagne yeast. And this one's meant to work on the same basis the heck of the cracker does. So but I do feel that it's balanced off quite nicely by the creaminess of this and also by the the, the nice banana y vibe banana it's so taste. smooth, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, the smoothness is as you say. But then someone else if you didn't like let's say you go back to someone like Bazza, if you don't like something dry, you, he's not you're gonna not like gonna that. like this very much, no. It is dry on the finish. Because at the end of the day, it, you you're gonna like what you're gonna like. You know, there's a lot of people that review beers. Look at Josh. He knows his stuff. Yeah, but I think it's good that if you want to try something different, to look at a whole lot of reviews and, and see where you kind of stand with everyone else. Because some people like really sweet things, other people like dry things. It, it, it's very subjective. Mm. I think the way I look at it is that... I love the label on this bottle. It's a really a, a family kind of scenic thing. And... and they're getting the corner, and there's the baby there, and the sheep. Isn't that lovely? Oh, look, yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> so I'm going to be a farmer. I could have been a farmer, you see. You took that away from me. Oh. We could have brought a farm and lived on a farm. And... Actually, I would have been quite happy with that. Some goats and sheep and things. We could have ate the goats. Don't be ridiculous. I'd not eat my animals. Right, nor would I. I struggle eating any meat, so I'm not going to eat a goat, am I? As for this drink. Yep, yes. as for this drink. It's top quality. It's everything that you would expect from a really good Bison beer. It's got the banana there. This nearly it's nearly got out of date. I do for JR. It's got the cloves there, everything else, but it is dry on the finish. If that's not your bag, you probably won't enjoy this as much as you would some others. Mm. It's not cheap, but for me, it is right up yeah. there. And when I say right yeah, up I like there, it's, it's right up there. I, it's obviously a yes. I mean, I don't want to drink too much while I'm doing this review because <laughs> there's going to be an issue here and I can yeah. see this one coming. Because we're supposed to be sharing this. <laughs> Are we? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, it doesn't matter anyway. Right. Hold on a minute, people. Let me have another, <laughs> just to make sure. Yeah, this is very... <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? Oh. She's going to kill me for that after. Thank you. <laughs> Little mouth, little sip. Mm. Oh no, big mouth, big sip. He's it's, so cheeky and he's so rude. This it's drink top draw. is top draw. On that, I have to agree with him. I won't agree with him on many things, but on that, I will. She says she loves me all the time, don't worry. I'm going to give this um, a whopping 8.5. I think this drink is absolutely superb, but if you prefer things slightly sweeter, then this probably isn't for you. Right. Okay. For me, I, th I, th I think it's absolutely great. I For like me, it. um, it's really hard because, so we got this idea of these ratings, or it's on Wally a long time ago. Yeah, but a lot, it of was. It, a lot of it is just personal preference. Yeah, no, like personal preference. Like I'd have to go like. on a nine out of ten at least because 
I can't remember what I gave Hacker. Um, it's right up there with Hacker. Barring the king for me, it's not going to be beaten by many. And I've, I've got to say that, you know, I've, there's a load of them I like now. And I love loads of the different flavour fruits. Mm. But when you get this champagne yeast, as they say on it, there's something different. If I could make one myself with this champagne yeast, I could perfect mm -hmm. the fries in there, I think. But there you go. Go again. So yeah, I'll go on a 9 or a 9.5. Oh, that's one of the highest ratings you've ever given anything. No, I gave it tens is. before. I gave the, <laughs> that's really high. I gave the Greek wise and beer 10 out of 10. Because <laughs> there we go. It was just different and it was... No, this is time. very, very good. It's a very good example of this type of drink. Yeah, it's top draw. There's no doubt about it. Anyway, look, we're boring them. We don't want to hear about whatever you say. You're the one who keeps going on. What is it? I won't bore you with the details, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's had one too many. Yeah. Well, I hope so. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Less than one pint today. I've had one too many now. Not really. Right. Okay. Anyway, feel free. Like, <laughs> subscribe. I don't know. Unsubscribe if you really want. <laughs> one of them things, isn't it? Thank you for watching. <laughs> if you got this far, I don't think anyone will. <laughs> Probably only me. Then what do to see if you fall down? Why would I fall down? I don't know because you're acting like you're drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. So, so you've got a human of staff people. And do you know when we met? She was my staff. Mm. How things change. <laughs> How things don't change. Anyway, like, subscribe, comment. Bonjour, people. Thanks for watching.